Hi, I'm Ray Whitby and in this video I'm going to be turning my first three-sided bowl. I'm going to be using a mostly epoxy resin cube and I'm not even sure if it's been done before. I've tried searching and only come up with partial resin within a cube. So this has a very high chance leading to a spectacular failure. So why not stay tuned and find out how it ended? As content creators, we're constantly looking for ways to entertain the audience. So we've got to keep our ideas fresh and exciting, but just sometimes we need to inject a little bit of randomization into the mix. See, it works every time, completely random. Actually, this project was the reason why I bought so many cinnamon sticks and then had to come up with a variety of ways of getting them used up. This was my biggest resin pour to date and I know it's a minor splash compared to some river table pours. Now I've had a lot of success with this epoxy plast 3D B100 and I'm sure there are some great deep pour resins out there as well um, outside of the UK, outside of the EU. So why not let me know what it is that you use for your resin work. I'm also using a resin 8 resin dye, a great alcohol ink um, but there's a curious effect that happened whilst it went in orange. Now, why don't you compare it to the final color at the end of the video? I chose orange as a test, uh, but I'm now not sure whether it was the right color to have used. So why not let me know what color should I have chosen? Let me know in the comments below. Even with silicon spray, this resin mold was not going to come apart easily, so it's time to introduce it to my little friend, the Bansel. It's pretty clear that a round nose scraper carbide tool was causing some minor issues and needed, for the first time, to use the pointing tool. So this will take out the edges of the cube with minimal rip out. Thank you. 
Oh look, a random stone. How do you get closer to the one you love? Well, why not mix some epoxy resin with them? It'll be a bonding experience. Okay, apologies, that was terrible. As ever, even though it's rapid epoxy, I find it's best to leave these things for about 24 hours before applying any pressure through turning. Otherwise, you might find an instant separation between the tenon and the project. You just got to keep on going.
it's time for another shower. So let's get wet sanding once it's sealed, of course. Then we go from 240 grit to about 3000. And this leaves a great finish to the epoxy resin. I think the final effect looks great given the different profiles of the cinnamon sticks running through the epoxy resin. Plus with the mahogany cube inside you get two three corner profiles for the price of one. Now it does look like there's a weird refraction effect going on where the orange appears to be a muted yellow and in places the bowl has a green tinge to it. Well, I hope you liked the project, so please hammer that like button, glue your finger to the subscribe button, sand and polish the bell icon for notifications, and leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of this project. Thanks for watching, and catch you next time.